Yeah, yeah, a lot of people think I'm an idiot. But we'll see who gets the last laugh. Hey, I bet they thought Noah was an idiot, too. But just you wait. My ark will be out there in Podunk, Texas with a mess of chickens and goats. See if you think I'm a fool when you're opening that last can of beans and I'm sitting on ten acres of corn and zucchini. When you're burning down your house in suburbia, I'll be snug as a bug in my dugout with ochre growing on the roof. Yeah, you remember this laugh when you're trying to drink piss and my windmill is pumping a bathtub full of water. You see, I'm getting ready now. Learning all about farming and canning, hunting and trapping, bicycling and recycling. And there'll be the day when you're trying to eat your car seats and I'll be dining on jackrabbit and deer. So go right ahead and laugh. I don't really care, because while you're laughing, I'm stocking up on seeds and tools and books, guns and ammo, bows and arrows, and lots of rope and wire and duct tape. That always comes in handy. But I admit, I'm not quite ready yet for this new dark age. I've got to get in better shape, because ten years from now, life won't be for the weak. I mean, this ain't like that silly Y2K paranoia or something as simple as nuclear war. Even the bird flu would look like a blessing compared to this. No, this is reality, and the proof is all around. You see, the last hundred years of comfy prosperity on this planet, that was just a freak of nature. A lucky break that we burned up faster than a stick of dynamite stuck up the timeline of man. It's just a plain and simple fact. Too many people using too much oil, and believe it or not, it's almost gone. Now, if you think that's a bunch of baloney, then you just haven't heard the facts. And believe you me, you're in for a rude awakening. We're talking darkness. Everything in your life depends on oil. And what happens without it? Well, you're already seeing the beginning. The oil wars, high prices, then'll come the riots and total anarchy. A fight for survival. No food, no water. No Caribbean cruises or flying off to Paris for shopping. Hell, you couldn't even drive to the mall if there was something to buy there. I mean, we're talking the end of life as we know it. Without oil, we'll be stepping back 200 years, except worse. Because most of y'all won't be prepared for it. But me, on the other hand, I'll be ready. And this fool even has a new career in mind. Distilling ochre whiskey. And I'll be the richest man in the county, because when this new dark age comes, getting drunk will be about the only pleasure left.